This device can help you learn how to sleep better. Let's find out how. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about sleep. Here's the reality. Most of us don't get as much sleep as we should, and when we are sleeping, we're not generally sleeping really well. It's not this deep, restful sleep, because we've got a lot on our mind. You might have had a cup of decaf with dinner, maybe had a little alcohol, didn't exercise enough. So, there are a lot of devices trying to help you figure out what's going on with your sleep, but few of them are actually backed by science and data. A lot of them are just like little bands that you wear that see if you're moving at night, and so then try to assess the depth and quality of your sleep. But there's more to it than that, which is what this is. This is the Sleep Score Max. This is an advanced sleep improvement system. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice looking modest device. You plug it in via the included USB-C cable and charger. And they did a nice job with a long cable, so that makes it easy. And you basically just sort of point it more or less at your chest. So you can put it on a side table, just pointing at you while you're in bed. And then it uses an ultra low power radio waves to figure out what's going on with your respiration and movement. So it's totally non-contact. There's nothing you put under your pillow, under your mattress, nothing like that. It's just using bio motion sensors, no camera, nothing creepy. Um, and it basically just watches what's going on with your body. So you can see in this little snippet, what I'm doing here is I'm turning it on and getting ready to go to sleep for the night. And you can see it's already sensing what's going on with my respiration and movement. Now, what makes this really cool is that it actually does analysis and gives you results based on your gender and your age. Because it turns out that, like me, I'm going to sleep different to a 16-year-old woman would. So that's really important. And when you're looking at these little wristbands and stuff, they're just making these sort of generic assumptions across the entire world population that everyone should sleep the same. And you know what? I don't. I have different sleep needs at my age, and in 30 years I'll have different sleep needs, and 30 years ago I would be sleeping differently than I am now. That's just how we work. So the fact that it can do all that is really cool. And the data behind it, the analysis is a company that actually specializes in sleep apnea and CPAP machines. And they have 4 million sleep nights of data across which they're analyzing. So they have a ton of data. So rather than just talk about this, let's look at some of the examples off of screens on my iPhone, because it comes with a very slick iPhone or Android app too. It's very well designed but here's the most interesting one here I am waking up so you just hold the button down to say yeah I'm awake and you'll see it actually is pulling all the data off of the device and then analyzing it and giving me a sleep score so that's pretty good I slept pretty well last night now you also get a lot of other things like before I go to sleep, I'm ideally putting in a daily self-report, which is indicating how much alcohol, how much caffeine, how stressed I felt, how tired I am. And then that's data that it can cross-correlate across days and weeks to figure out if I have a lot of caffeine, do I sleep more poorly, for example. And all of that's super important. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> now, there are also data trends, so I can look at here how I've been doing over the week, and you can see Monday was a pretty rough night of sleep for me. I could go back and look on my calendar and say, what happened? What did I eat? How, you know, what time did I go to bed? And start to try to understand where am I with stuff? And then there's also the analysis screen. And here's what I found really, really beneficial is that it looked at my sleep for the previous night and said, that's pretty average for someone your age. Now that's really great because when I was looking at like the Apple Watch and some of the other um, sports and motion sensors, they were just saying, hey, you've got six and a half hours of sleep and you didn't know, you know, you only got two hours of REM sleep. It's not very good. And it's just like, yeah, but you know, that might be average for my age. It might just be that I sleep differently than I did when I was younger. So Sleep Score Max is really cool. And one of the best things they have is there's actually a report you can print out. And I've, actually, you can get emailed to you that then you can print out and take to your doctor. So if you are having sleep issues, then using something like this for a couple of weeks and then going to your doctor saying, here's the data. This is great. This really is one of the most accurate and 
specific um, data tools for you if you're trying to understand your sleep patterns outside of going to a sleep lab. And let's face it, if you're in a hospital room or something and you're supposed to sleep and have a typical night's sleep, that's not how that's gonna work. So they know that too. So something like this can be a really great data collection tool. But I find it really interesting, even though I don't have any sleep issues. Although, I don't know, Monday night, that kind of looks like a sleep issue sort of thing there. <laughs> anyway, so really, really interesting device. Really, this is a sort of one of the great examples of this medical data and data collection system that's now coming into our homes that gives us a lot more insight into our lifestyle and suggestions on things we can do, maybe even gentle, simple things that would actually give us better night's sleep sleep, be more rested, healthier, and happier. And seriously, I would much rather be that because <laughs> I want to be rested and I want to be happy. I'm sure you do too, right? Now, before I tell you the price of this device, that's the only thing left to talk about, except I want to ask you to click that subscribe button. And if this is useful and interesting and beneficial, give me a thumbs up too. Really appreciate that. Now, the Sleep Score Max device and charging system, um, power system I should say, and the app, the app's actually free. All of that you can pick up for $149.99 at sleepscore.com. I'm really a fan and I will be using this and they actually say that you need about 30 days data for it to start giving you really good suggestions and I'm gonna collect that data and see where we are. So, this is Dave Taylor feeling rested and ready to take on the day and I'll catch you in my next video.